Okay, so I am just thinking if I should be using this stone or if I should use something smaller uh, for this ring. So someone will, some will argue that this is big, but I really want to use this one. <laughs> um, let's look at the ring. So yeah, maybe we'll do something smaller today. So when you look at the stone, just um, basically figure out what surface is the most um, perfect to sit on the ring. So I feel like this is good because this is flat enough to sit on the surface. Look, it's gonna look pretty cute. It's still gonna look cute and futuristic. So I would be using this side right here. So let's get everything out of the way. I changed my mind. Let's see how it looks with any like additional stuff. So this is gold backing, but we will cover it with silver because everything has to be silver. Um, let's see if, for instance, somehow they are together to form a crazy ring, right? Maybe like two juxtapositions, like one is polished and man's made, the other one is raw and made by nature. We like that. Okay, so now we're going to use the copper tape to wrap the stone. I'm gonna cut insanely a lot just for the purpose of this training. We will be covering this probably because I like the way it sits together on the ring. Meanwhile, I have my um, ironing station heating up. So let's see if we can zoom in. So I'll try not to have the camera shake, but basically let's get this out of the way. You have a stone, right? You have the bottom. This is what we're going to do. We're going to wrap we're gonna figure out the amount you will need, so just like fake wrap it around. So you will definitely need that. So I would cut somewhere here, you can just tear it, it's fine. Let me zoom out a little bit. And what we're going to do, when you peel this off, try not to touch the copper part, because this is sticky. But if you're gonna touch it a lot, it's going to um, become not adhesive. So let me see. So now we're gonna be attaching this to the stone like that. Kind of forming, kind of following the shape. There you go. So that's good. So now the goal is to get it all snug. So I will be using for that my players. That's what I will be doing. Camera is shaking. Let me see if I can get a better setup. Okay, so I will be tucking in the copper so it's snug, it's not going anywhere. Just make sure. Now this is gonna be the second part. Try not to touch it. When you touch something, try to not use it second time. So this was step one. Um, you need to make sure that your natural stone or glass or regular stone is covered with copper tape. So we can add, add some, so we can add some solder onto it. So this was step one. So then we're gonna look at our ring because like that is good size for me, it fits me, um, but it's adjustable, which is good about those rings. And let's just play with it again and kind of see how it's going to, to sit. So now we're gonna think about composition. Um, that's what I do, I think about composition. So if this was a lonely um, stone sitting on top of the ring, I would center it, right? 
To find a center, there is a trick I'll show you. I use um, my uh, third hand tool for that. I'll show you how to find a center and how to keep it centered while you are soaring because it's one thing to find it but then to keep it straight so it doesn't tilt. Otherwise, you might want to center this, but when you're working with it, you might solder it onto like at the angle, and then it's very difficult to unsolder. Very often, it's just once it's stuck, it's stuck. If, especially if you put a lot of solder, it's very difficult to move. So, um, we're gonna think about composition. So, I want this to be a little bit, it's probably so annoying. Hopefully, you guys are fine with the light in your face. Sorry about that. I'm learning how to use lights. So now we're gonna think about composition. So what do we do? What do we do? Do we keep the ring, do we keep the stone centered or not? If we're gonna be using, it's probably not catching it up. If we're gonna be using another stone, then probably I won't be making it centered, right? So, and I'm not. I really like this. I feel like they're gonna look really cool together. So let's um, spend some time covering this guy. Okay, so now we are ready to solder. I will be putting my mask on and setting everything so it will be safe. Um, and the first thing that we will be doing, the first thing that we will be doing, we will be adding some solder onto the stone. Okay. So here I'm going to put a stone into a third hand, but just make sure it's not, it's secure enough. Like it, 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 it grabs it by the right um, angle. So now I'm gonna be placing it like so. And we're going to start adding sorter. To add sorter, I suggest you putting sort of this way so it's ready for your application like that it's perfect you can see it's basically like that it's almost touching the stone so now i'm gonna have my mask on i have this i have my uh, soldering iron you have to keep this open then there it goes flux and i'm gonna damp this sponge and I'm going to damp the sponge with a little bit of water. Okay, so the sponge is now damp. It's gonna be sitting right here. You're gonna be opening flux. Using my brush. And then we're gonna be covering Okay, so this is voiceover Eugenia helping you uh, <laughs> through tutorial. So um, here you can see that I'm covering the stone with solder and I'm making sure that there's no there are no gaps. So the copper part doesn't show through. Otherwise, it's gonna look unfinished. Um, so that's what you're trying to do. Uh, cover it up and uh, just be careful uh, when you fully cover it. Uh, even though it's very tempting to just take it off with your hands, don't, it's super hot. <laughs> so just be careful. Okay, so here you see me using my third hand, a very good, uh, amazing uh, tool what I, that I can't live without, basically, when I'm soldering. And here's the part where I'm showing you how to center a, a piece of stone onto the ring. So grab it by the kind of a side part of the ring and that way um, just make sure two bottom parts of the ring are touching the table if that makes sense so it's leveled and that way it just keep it level don't keep it tilted and that way you can really get the center of the ring you can find it very easily Here you see me that I'm preparing like a pool of solder to give a little bit of a um, kind of cushion, a little bit of something, a little bit of peanut butter, jelly, whatever, 
for <laughs> the uh, other solder to stuck onto it. I find it much easier um, to adhere a stone that way rather than just attaching a stone to a ring. I always create a little pull of a of sorter to secure my stone onto a little bit of a cushion. So here you can see that I secured it one part and now I'm covering it on the other part and kind of covering the whole thing and I'm trying to have it be so there's no uh, gap for water or other or you know dirt or debris or anything to get through. Like I'm trying to make sure there is no air, there is no gap between the, the stone and the base of the ring. That's my design. I kind of feel like that's just more practical. And this is the part where um, you guys see that I'm trying very hard to mount uh, this uh, stone. So I created again a little, kind of a little leg, like it looks like a mushroom, a little something for it to melt onto a base. I'm not a professional, this is me learning. I've gotten a few comments from people saying, what are you doing? This is not jewelry <laughs> making, but I understand it's definitely not 100% the traditional way, but I'm afraid of a torch, uh, the real torch with fire. I'm not there yet, so I'm definitely gonna be experimenting and I'm definitely gonna be recording uh, me experimenting that, but this is like something that I dared to do, which was soldering iron, and it's been working for me for, for now, and I really enjoy those crazy giant rings. Here you can see that I came up with a way to kind of push the stone into the base, so I melted the stone, uh, I, mean, I melted the solder a little bit, and then I grabbed the um, sponge, as you guys, guys saw, and I pushed it when the solder was very hot, and it actually pushed the whole stone in, and it set it in place, which was kind of a know-how, <laughs> because I didn't know what to do, and I don't know why wouldn't I get like some gloves, I think next time I'll get some um, fireproof or heatproof gloves, because I've been burning myself throughout this tutorial a lot. Also, I'm working on my desk that I made. I made this desk or table or whatever, and it's been, uh, it's seen better days. I do all kinds of crafts, and it's also my office desk, which is ridiculous, but I got a soldering mat. So that's coming next time I'm soldering. I'm not gonna be soldering on wood. You should be soldering on wood. You should be soldering on some stone or something like that. So if you're home, try to not solder over wood. Here you can see that I'm covering a st uh, my stone with um, some uh, sticky paper to protect it because I will be filing in the next step. So you can see me uh, using um, a 3000, 1000 um, grid uh, paper, sandpaper. So that's why you kind of, this is kind of why I came up with it myself. I'm sure there is, there is a method to that, but I realized that I don't want to be scratching my stone uh, whenever I'm sanding um, stuff. That's why I suggest you guys cover it also with, um, I don't know, scotch tape or um, painter's tape or like a little sticker, you know? So here I removed it and this is the coolest part when your ring is pretty much done and you just get to polish it so it'll shine and I'm trying it on. So I like the way it turned out. It's a little weird but I definitely love it. I hope you guys found it useful because that really can take up to 30 minutes for me if I'm not filming so it doesn't take that long to make and it looks super cool. So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something new. I find this very easy to put together, usually this would take me 30 minutes, but because I had to film, I burned myself a couple times and um, I don't know if you noticed or if I'm going to talk about it in this video, but basically I first attached the stone that was kind of 
not in the right place, like it was off center, so thank God I was able to get it off. Um, using my hot uh, soldering iron, I just like melted the solder so much to the point that it, that it slipped and I was able to replace it. But usually when you work with a bigger uh, surfaces, it won't let you do it. I really like the way it turned out. Um, if you've been wanting to do soldering and wanted to do natural stone setting, um, this is like super easy, I highly recommend. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe, please like, please share. There's gonna be more fun stuff happening. I just came back from downtown LA. I picked up a bunch of fabric. This is a separate thing, a separate video, but I'm gonna be working on some cool outfits soon. I will also film this. There's gonna be video of me updating this studio. It's coming your way. And I will be making some art for the walls. So a bunch of creative stuff is coming your way. Anyway, thank you so much, uh, go do something creative and have a lovely day. I'll see you next time, bye!